so welcome back to my channel welcome back to gift guide week whereby every day this week i'm uploading a brand new gift guide all themed differently yesterday was the girls all about the girls today it's all about the boys so we're doing the gift guide for him video today i have some more budget friendly options as well coming tomorrow i think i'm going to do tomorrow's video as the stocking filler gift guide then I've got four pets and pet owners, four couples, I've got a B&M one as well. So lots of gift ideas coming your way, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Boys, where do we start? I always find this video the hardest to create and come up with new ideas that you know they're gonna like because I feel like with men, it's very selective to the individual and what it is that they particularly are interested in. I guess that's kind of what you've got to go for with the boys is just find their hobby buy them anything to do with that hobby but i have got a few ideas that hopefully you guys are going to love i will leave all of these items that i mentioned within today's video linked below in order of price points that you can easily find everything that you need to from this video down in that description box the first thing i wanted to mention is for the man that has everything some kind of charitable donation in their name or maybe adopting an animal maybe they've got a particular type of animal that they're obsessed with i know wwf do them from about three pounds a month so it's quite a nice idea if you're really stuck on what to get someone or if you're buying for someone who has everything to um yeah do a charitable act and donation on their behalf. Now I did see this in supermarkets that I had to include. I was gonna put it in the stocking filler, but it's pretty chunky. I feel like Toblerone is a good classic thing to buy for a guy. Toblerone, chocolate orange, although chocolate orange does fit nicely in a stocking. Um, but Toblerone brought out this Christmas edition this year in supermarkets I've seen this. So I decided to pick it up and show you guys. They do have a blonde chocolate one, which I've already eaten and it's delicious. However, you can't beat just a classic traditional I went into Selfridges recently and I came across, I don't know if this is a chain or if it's just the Trafford Centre one, but there was a place called Sneakers ER, Sneaker Laundry Services, and there was even a guy there painting away someone's trainers and restoring them. So if someone that you're buying for is into their sneakers, their trainers, high end as well, pre-love designers, this is a price list of what they um, do. So you could always just buy them like a voucher to put towards this. I know you can get Selfridges voucher even if you can't get a sneaker laundry one, which I'm sure you can. Um, but yeah, that is the little leaflet that I picked up. They had loads of um brand new laces to replace and i asked tom actually i said how long do you like with your trainers laces is it quite a good idea to get like for a stocking filler and he said yes because when he runs them through the wash he says you've probably got two or three washers before they just get a bit funny and you might as well just pick up a new pair so this is six pounds now when i tell you they had every single color they had every single color. If you imagine a big display of these, and there were hundreds of loads of different colors, it was like a huge rainbow. This one is the kind of like off creamy white, they had bright white, they had a, a more yellowy cream. He was even saying, these ones are great for New Balances, these ones are great for Nike, these ones are great for Axa Regato, suit supply trainers. Who knew a whole selection of laces existed? But yeah, just a nice, um, little budget friendly option for a sneaker head for an absolute lover of trainers. I saw this in Boots. You know how they always do their three for two offers on their um, gifting. They've got all their gifting out now and I saw this and I thought this would be make a nice addition to this video. It's from Chantney's Health Spa and it is a grooming kit. So it's a um, grooming kit that comes with a file, scissors, tweezers and nail clippers with a little patch, it's got a little comb there as well. Nice addition to a man's gift pile, especially if he's constantly stealing your nail clippers and they constantly go missing. So that set is £10 but that was actually a freebie for the other two items that I've bought for other gift guides. Next up I saw these, these were from Marks and Spencers and they are Margarita Martini glasses, a set of two cocktail glasses that um, we personally love a margarita, especially a frozen margarita. So I thought these would be quite handy just to have in the cupboard anyway. So to gift someone a set, they were six pounds, I thought would be quite a nice um, gift to go with a bottle of something as well. So obviously with margaritas, I've got this um, from Patronus, 
silver tequila. They had other ones. They had martini, like espresso martini glasses. They had um, like a more porn style martini. They had champagne coupes. Another gift idea, which could be a fun thing to do for someone if they have a particular hero that they love, like a celeb hero that maybe is on Cameo, which if you don't already know is a website that you go on, you request your celebrity to record you a message. Tom did it a previous year in um, like a workplace where everyone was doing a secret Santa swap and Tom's gift to someone was a recorded message. I think it was from Kerry Katona. I can't remember, but it was some kind of message addressed to this particular guy and um, they all had a good laugh and enjoyed listening to the message anyway. But yeah, if you, if you can think of them having a certain someone that they look up to, a sports figure, a comedian, a chef. It was just the other day actually, I was going through the car wash and I thought it'd be a good idea to get, get them car valeting vouchers. You know, just, it's one of those expenses that you're just like, Ugh, whatever. And it's not too expensive, at least our local one is in any way. Even if you just want an outside valet for a fiver, so you could get like, again, Secret Santa five pound gift or if you want to get them like six months worth of valeting vouchers that you could do that as more of a like a bulkier gift. I wanted to include a mug within today's video and there was one mug in particular that I was going to include and especially for Tom being a dad to a golden retriever um emma bridgewater have a golden retriever mug so i might purchase that i haven't yet but if i do get that i think it'd be a nice nice addition to our mug cupboard but in the meantime i did see this one from mns and it's from their spencer range which i didn't even know was a thing but a teddy bear they had loads of stuff they had pet blankets in this range they had all sorts and i thought i would pick up the mug it was only five pounds and on one side it's got this little skiing bear that says spencer on his jumper and then this one has and um, this side has another skiing bear i just think it gives ralph Lauren vibes you know how they do the teddy bear especially if you happen to have a spencer that you're buying for i guess kind of in addition to the tequila margarita set if your man is a whiskey drinker they had whiskey glasses but i also have seen online like on etsy and other websites that you can get a whiskey smoker set that basically through like wood chips and i mean you get the full kit um but it creates a smoky kind of thing to your whiskey i guess it's not just for whiskey you can do it with other cocktails as well if you actually want the smokiness to come out the guy that you're buying for is into his music i thought a record player would be quite a good idea and again you can have a whole range of price points with a record player from a more budget option of sort of 30 40 50 pounds right up to hundreds of pounds so the next item is also from etsy i think these are about 40 pounds i'll leave them linked but it's a set of three prints and again if you um no, Tom, anything about Tom, my boyfriend, he is into his watches. So he has this set of three prints, which has um, Patek Philippe, which is his fave brand, um, Vacheron, and also Audemars Piguet, with the kind of, I don't know what they call this, the, the movement? I don't know. I'm not into watches as much as he is, but he loves having these in his kind of like office space. And again, if they're not into watches, then something like that, but with sports clubs or cars, if they're into cars. Sticking with watches, I did pick up this book. Again, a nice, big, chunky, hearty book for a guy is a good idea. Again, if you are buying for someone who's into watches, this is good. This is called Rare Watches, Explore the World's Most Exquisite Timepieces. It was 45 pounds from Selfridges. I'll leave a link to it below though, because I think I found one slightly cheaper online. Again, I think I might have mentioned this on a previous gift guide, but it, so long ago I get, um, I forget if I have mentioned it or not, but my heritage DNA or ancestry DNA that do um, at home DNA kits that you can look back at your family history. I know my dad in particular is really into our family history and looking back. So we've done the my heritage DNA kits. I think they're about 39 pounds where you send off your swab. What else do you do? Like a little questionnaire, I think and it kind of connects you to family members as well, like distant relatives. One year we did, Tom and I, we went to the traffic center to have an indoor ski slope, and I know they do skiing lessons from about 50 pounds. So whether or not you may be a booking um, a trip skiing in the new year, 
or whether or not you just want to do a fun little activity we loved it we just went on the beginners course which is a group lesson again i think it was about 50 pounds but um if you want to do more advanced or like more bookings like um a bundle of bookings it just increases in price but we did think about maybe doing it again this year and um, going up to the next section. I have skied before, but Tom hasn't, so I did the beginners on with him. But yeah, that was a really fun thing to do. Or any kind of experience for a guy, again, depending on what they're into, whether or not you wanna get the like buy a gift or red letter days, they do all sorts from driving, race course driving, um, helicopter rides, gin tasting. And again, to suit your budget, they have some more affordable ones, 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds, up to 100 plus. Gadgets, again, are relative to the budget that you have, but I wanted to recommend the AirPods for this video, just because I feel like I actually have um, a pair myself. And if your person has a pair, then why not get them a case maybe? Like I've got, these are just really affordable from like Etsy or something, but yeah, AirPod Pros I have, and these are brilliant. Tom also has like the Max ones, the bigger ones, and he loves those as well. So if they're a gadget lover, an AirPod of some variety, absolute winner. So I recently bought a pair of new wellies for Tom that I wanted to mention as a good gift idea, especially at around Christmas time for a Boxing Day walk. They can wear their new wellies. Um, Hunter and Barber, I love for wellies. These ones are actually from Lakeland and they're only £59. So again, we'll leave these lo linked. They're like a kind of traditional Wellington forest green colour and just hearty chunky wellington boots next up i have an instax camera that i thought would be a good gift idea some kind of i think there's a variety of different ones you can pick this is the instax mini 40 this one's 80 pounds i got this one from john lewis i think zara home do it as well again i'll leave it linked but this is good to be able to have for a person who likes traveling a lot taking lots of photos creating lots of memories so yeah i love this i think the the way that polaroids come out are just so nice. Next up I thought I would recommend a candle. Now I feel like a candle is one of those gifts for guys that, that might just be a bit like a candle but I loved this brand so much and the packaging and the design of it that I thought if a guy has an office in your house or at least an office space some kind of desk set up or like Tom has like a walk-in wardrobe type place that is just his to have a nice manly candle for themselves and for their space i thought it would be lovely so this one is from a brand called henry's townhouse and this has a burn time of 40 hours and let me show you the actual design of the candle itself it is pricey i'm not gonna lie this is a luxury brand but obviously like again to suit your budget you can go whichever um expense that you want really but this is the monsieur halavance pantry candle and this is the design on the front it's kind of like a silhouetted um figure of a guy and then the actual candle itself is black and on the back it just says henry's townhouse a smoky manly library kind of scent and whilst we're on the topic of fragrance from home fragrance to cologne fragrance and halligans oh, they spritz this with the scent and it smells lovely this was um i picked this up in selfridges and they did the gift wrap for me it wasn't like an extra charge or anything but um i picked this i actually picked up two of these for two men in my life this year and this is how they wrap it. i just don't want to ruin it but i decided to get the um pen halligan's halfetti which is such a popular option that it's kind of like a fail safe because everyone seems to love halfetti i thought i would go for that and i did smell it in store and i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i'm sharing this with tom because it is gorgeous it, they are unisex their scents but i just feel like pen halligan's is a good brand to go for if you're wanting a luxury scent for a guy i don't really want to open it see he's he's even wrapped it up inside there so i am going to leave it wrapped up but i will leave it linked below for you so that you can see what it looks like it's very luxury i will say that a couple of more affordable alternatives i thought i would recommend um as other options all saints do really nice fragrances again kind of unisex they might be for men but i like to wear them they are lovely i love the maison 
Margiela one, the By the Fireplace, which I've got on now actually. And also Whispers in the Library, Jazz Club, they are all lovely. Tom really likes the brand Thamine. I think his favorite is Nasak. But yeah, they are sort of like still high end. Pen Halligan's is. I have a clothing item that I wanted to recommend and it's from Lululemon. So we all know I love the Align leggings for myself. I go on and on about them. Tom is also very much into Lululemon and this pair of joggers in particular that he gets from Lululemon, he's got a few different colors. They're called the ABC jogger and they're kind of like a smart material or they're not. They're, they're very comfy but they are of a fabric that looks quite smart. Like Tom will wear these sometimes with a shirt and a gilet and go to work, go to the office in these, but equally he'll chill out on the sofa on a weekend in them. They are again expensive, but they are really, really good. And like I say, it's one of those items that when you know you like it and you get it in every color, which Tom has, then I know it's a good one. So I think they've got a couple of colors on sale at 60 pounds at the moment. Otherwise, ordinarily, I think they're about 100 and 10 115 pounds tom wears them in a long so you can get a different leg length as well which is really good so there was a pair of trainers that i wanted to show you like a sneaker style trainer from suit supply that tom loves however he's wearing them today and he's not at home so i can't show you them but i'll put an image on the screen they're just like a basic plain simple sneaker style trainer that can go smart to casual one that i wanted to just mention because i know that he gets his wear out of those he really does and if there is one recommendation i could say if you are buying a property with your partner or if you are renovating like we are and adding in extra bathrooms if you can have your own bathroom wow that is a luxury <laughs> separate bathrooms he can have his manly bathroom, I can have my girly bathroom, my zen space. And um, yeah, I thought I would pick something up for Tom for his manly bathroom. And it's a luxury hand wash that I got from, I never know how to pronounce this brand. Is it Scandivanisk? Scandinavisk, Scandinavisk. Anyway, it's in the scent Skog, which I think is like a festive scent. It's um, Calm of the Boreal Forest. Oh, Skog actually is Swedish slash Norwegian for forest. Oh, I kind of want to keep this myself. Oh my God, that's so nice. If you like the pine scents, that foresty kind of scent, wow. With the green kind of label, it will go perfectly in his bathroom because he's got like a dark green tile um, in his shower up there. So yeah, I picked that one up for him. And this size, which is quite generously sized actually, this is 25 pounds, so it is a luxury one. I know Matalan do dupes of this brand, so if you wanted to get a dupe version, try Matalan. So there we have it, that is everything that I have to recommend in the gift guide for him for 2022. Stay tuned though for more ideas coming up very soon in the stocking filler secret sands gift guide don't forget to subscribe to make sure not to miss out on the rest of the videos coming this week thank you so so much for watching i hope you got some inspiration some ideas yourself any other suggestions let's share in the comments below and i hope to see you all tomorrow bye guys